Good morning, boys and girls. I'm glad you can join me on this, our first uh, video art lesson. I'll be doing more of this as soon as I learn more about how to do this, and it looks like it's working out pretty good. Today, what I wanna do is guide you on one of the handouts that I put on the Google Classroom. That's this one right here. What I wanna to try to do with you guys, if you'd like, is draw this one right here. Okay, that one, okay. So that's what it looks like. I wanna draw a fence, a tree, and a barn. And we'll try to get that in best we can. And when I post this, you can have a look at it and draw along with me. Very good. <clears throat> so what we have here, coming in from this side, what I wanna do is draw the top of the fence. Whenever you start drawing, boys and girls, always try to draw the longest lines first. That line goes right off the paper. And so does this one. I'm going to draw them kind of lightly because I'll have to erase some pieces in it because the fence post. Okay, so we're going to put this one in now. Here's the other one. And then that goes like this. Very nice. Now we'll put a fence post right here. Here we have one going down to the ground holding up the end. Very nice. I see three fence posts, one, two, and three. So I'm gonna erase a chunk here, erase a chunk here, and erase a chunk here. And I'll put in more, more fence posts. So then we'll just do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this. Oops. Can't let that happen, boys and girls. If you see what I'm talking about right there, you gotta keep it believable. When your lines go over like that, it destroys the illusion. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm gonna put is another very long line. And that would be the horizon line, which is just above the fence here. I'm gonna draw it very lightly because I'll be erasing some pieces of it. Just like that, perfect. First thing I want to do is put in a tree right here, right? So I'm going to erase a piece of the horizon line, right? And put in a tree that looks like this. So far like that. Okay, when I draw a tree, you guys, don't try to decide how it's supposed to look. Just make it any, any way, anything you do is going to be perfect. Okay, trees just grow anything like that. That's probably pretty good. Okay. The trunk can get some lines on it, right? Boys and girls, one of the reasons we're doing this is to show the art element of space, right? Where you have overlapping the tree is in front of the horizon line. Very nice. Next thing we'll add is the barn. And that's right here. I'm gonna erase a chunk of this. See how we're doing right here, you guys? What are we doing? We're doing this. There's the tree we have in there. Horizon line. We'll put in those bushes in a minute. Right now we're going to put in the barn and the two silos that are right at the top of the fence. So I'm just going to do this. Just tell you what I'm thinking about, boys and girls, when I start drawing the barn, I see that the middle post is in the center of the front of the barn. So that's how I know where to draw the barn. It's over the middle post. One, two, three. So it's going to be over this one. I got to erase a little more. So the barn goes like this then. Goes up past the horizon, <coughs> horizon line. And then I'm just gonna put something like this on it because it goes over to about right there. And then goes straight down. The barn door looks like this. It goes from above the horizon, 
straight across, over the post, and down. Okay. Straight line out this way. That's the top of the barn. How far does that go? It goes past this. So we're going to make it a little further. Then we'll go like this and down. Then we have to connect this and that, right? You guys can hit pause on this. You can't hit pause when I'm... You have to say, slow down, Mr. Kurnitsky. So now, I'm going to go straight down like this, like this. And there's my barn, kind of. I'm going to do this because it looks kind of cool when you... I went too far there, so I'll just fix it a little bit. Because right, right under here, it's dark. Right, because it's the under, underside of the barn. So this goes like this, and like that, and like that. Three windows around the barn. One, two... Make sure that's parallel with this, right? Parallel to parallel. Oop, that's messed up. Okay. So we have now, boys and girls. We have the barn, the barn door, three windows. Oh, we got to put a line right here. Then it's going to go, how many? About five. Put one in the middle first. One in the middle here, one in the middle there. See how, e how easy it is to space them? Is that enough? No, I'm put one more. Right in the middle, right in the middle, in the middle, and in the middle. Oop, that's not parallel. And then they go down like this. There's one in there too. Sure. There's our barn. There are straight lines here. Don't forget those, right? this, don't you? Straight down the middle with a line here and a line there. here on the barn door too. What's this right here? Oh, that's the top of the pole there. There we go. And you can probably just come in with some of these too. I will don't want to line them up. Straight down, straight down. Side of the barn. So, silos. There's a silo right here, see? Can you see what I'm pointing at here? I'm gonna draw this silo right here. So where does it start? See, it starts right there on the edge of the barn and goes to the end. So I'm gonna start it right here. It's an arc. Make sure that you put it as an arc because we're looking up at it. And then this goes and now another one goes right here. We only see part of it's hidden a little bit and it's shorter too. And it goes out to here. See what where I'm looking at? I put that dot right there. That's where that dot is right there. So now I know from here I can go straight up, 
put an arc on it right there because we're looking up at it and put the dome on there and some lines in there these are arced lines almost all the way but once you get down to eye level they're going to be straight across okay a couple more things boys and girls and then we can uh you can draw or color it i hope to see i hope you color it you can put the pluses inside the windows the window panes remember it's kind of dark inside there inside barns is dark you gotta it's not dark in there but it's hard to see in there because it's so bright out all right now boys and girls i'm going to finish my horizon line since I can, my barn's in place. And then we're going to put a cool feature here that's a forest far away. And I'm not going to even look about too much about what it really looks like. I can just make some kind of wavy line here. And it'll be believable. That goes right there. And then this goes over here. And the way they did that was make sure that you will color that real dark. That whole thing is going to be dark all the way across over here too. A forest that's far away is black. There we go. And you'll continue this all the way across. Oh, let's do this. Yep. Feel free to add any uh, other details you want. Oh, I'm forgetting one whole area right here. This will be fun. If I keep going here, boys and girls, at the bottom of each post, it's going to be grass. Don't, don't worry about how it looks. Grass is grass, you know. It's, it's always different. No matter where you see it, it's different. Some details on the wood is a good idea. Can you see that? I've never used my camera like this before, so this is really exciting to share it with you guys. More lines. How long is this going now? This is going... Oh, I don't know how long. There's another timer in there. That's all right. Okay. So I was looking at my camera to see what what is happening if there was a time. I don't think there is. That's all right. I should time it on my phone next time. All right. Now you need some lines on this because that's wood too. You would maybe do this with colored pencils. A good way to do this is to use a dark, dark brown colored pencil for these lines. And then you come in with light brown and lightly color it. Looks good because then the dark brown lines end up being kind of shadows in the wood. All right. So now what we have here is a... Oh, we can add. Right? You can add some of these along the way. As many of those as you want. Now we have a shoreline we can put in. It can be just an old Riggedy line is fine. There's the beach, and now we have the water line. And from each post, we have a wiggly line going off the page. From each post, see? It's the, it's the shadow of the post in the water. And now, is that one, two, one, two, three, four, one more? It's all wiggly. It's all wiggly, you guys. And that's one post. Oh, I'm going too. I'm going a little bit too far. I'm gonna. 
the race a little bit. We have got, we gotta have room for a duck in there. All right, so just wiggly lines. And then Mr. Duck. Now when you put the duck in the water, don't forget See what I'm drawing? No, you're not. Wiggly lines in the water and a duck. Sorry about that. So now, when you draw on the duck, don't forget your wiggly lines that go around it like this because that means water. It means it's in water. I might put a little bit of Reflection from the tree. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is do that. Good idea. So now, I'm just going to add a few clouds, you guys. Remember, when you, we, we studied perspective before, with the farm and all the lines that meet at the vanishing point. You can do the same thing with clouds. Clouds close to the horizon are going to be smaller. Make sure you do some overlapping with clouds. Close to the horizon are small. As you, as you go higher on your paper, the clouds are getting closer, so they're larger. Make sure you put half clouds on the edge of the paper. As you go higher on your paper, these clouds need to be larger. You don't have to draw the whole cloud. The largest clouds will be only partially in the picture. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Now we get a, maybe a medium cloud in there. One thing with clouds is if you darken the bottom of the cloud, right? If you rub your finger on it, it gives you a little bit of blending there. Make sure though, boys and girls, if you're going to do that and blend like that, you got to come in with your eraser and erase where you don't want it blended. You got to erase it, the sky. There. Okay. Now, adding some color to that, you'd be all ready to be whistling Dixie. Very nice. Oop, what's this? Okay, boys and girls, that's our lesson for today on how to draw a landscape and a barn. Later on, I'll post another video of how to draw something else, and you can have some fun with that. Okay. Take care now, and we'll see you next time. Bye.